So, let's start off with Izzy vs. Laoshi, Game 1 of Merchant Port. If everything is correct, right? Merchant Port? Yep. Yep. Alright, Absa vs. Crag. Let's roll. 3, 2, 1, go. So, Laoshi straight in with up the movement that went nowhere. Alright. But with some uh, very interesting combos. Uh, looks like Izzy's trying to go for the uh, ground B. Uh, sorry, down B ground cancels. Yeah. Nice little recovery into a good little stage carry. Yeah. He opts to not pop the cloud but instead go for epic and fairy. I guess while she maybe considered the risk of getting his cloud parried and decided against using it. Yeah, well, if you just have filled there, you don't really run much risk. Yeah. She's just sweet spot that cloud is a questionable decision. Uh, Ooh, really gets the death battle to her there. A true classic. Ooh, but for that, ooh, he has some viper ups, and that sharp neutral special barely didn't kill. But yep. there he goes and gets the club down the air to up air to seal out the stock. Very nice combo. Ooh, nice little club play through that. That rock grab could have bit him very hard in the butt. Thankfully, it only put him slightly. Yeah, what she's doing very well in this match so far is spacing out, uh, trying, just staying outside of him, but uh, close enough to pose a threat. Yeah. Trying okay. straight into that side B. Almost killing him. Oof, gets one hit at the down special, not much at all. But the one thing Izzy is very good at is uh, at least getting input for his fastballs. That's one thing he's definitely yep. doing very well. He has those on lock. And also he's doing a really good job parrying the second death tilt. That he is. Ooh! Getting a little tricky. Oh. Oh, yes. He's just keeping nice. him out, right? He's just keeping watching out. Oh, that's very unfortunate for his Malak. Is he? Smalley, Smix, what have you. He goes by many names. He just stands there, tries to charge it up strong. Didn't work out very well. That was actually a really good fastball. Really good fastball. Because Wachi was just completely prepared to do it up there. Oh no, he has him with no air dodge! The eyes away though. Ooh, that was a good little Belgium castle. Yep. Oh, this could fell the end? Maybe. Oh, had he actually charged that up front for a little bit longer, it could have hit. And it could have no, finished off this game. Falls right into that up there, and that first game goes to Raushi. Alright. Quite well recently. Yeah, why she definitely is uh, like he's not necessarily on the rice, but he his results are still like starting to be in the upper upper part of the bracket, like in the better parts of the bracket, pretty much. Yep. All right, so now it's uh, time for game number two, which was a counter pick to Tower of Heaven from Izzy. Still same characters, but I don't think we have much else to say, so let's just move right on into game number two. Three, two, one, let's go. So starting off right off the bat, we are seeing Washi do this technical thing where he kind of gives up signal. He is not usually not too concerned with having like center stage or anything like that. He's usually pretty comfortable with standing on his edge, pretty much. That's, that's where he's at home. 
Yep, he's just trying as hard as he can to really range him at the moment, but uh, those down bees are really giving him uh, some troubles. Yeah, he needs to start parrying those. We're rolling, I guess. <laughs> They're rolling right back. But up there's gonna uh, catch him out. Yeah. And there's another down special to fair. Yes. Ooh. Some very nice. nice crank combos. Yeah, nice to stage carrying. Ah, almost enough here. Ooh, gets the start fire which allows Izzy to just keep rolling all over him. And Izzy with the 3 to 1 stock lead right now, and he's just kind of moving around. Unfortunate! Oh. Yeah, Roll there, good. not working out very well for him, and he gets aerialed to death. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, uh, that's supposed to work out very well in his favor. Oh, tries to go back to his, uh, platform camping, but, uh, down B just hits him again. Ooh, a little Trixies there with the wall jump. I like that. Yeah. Is he showing all his, uh, many hours in, uh, lab? Just waiting out that, uh, down B. Quite unfortunate death. Alright. So we're back to footsies right now. Just yeah. Izzy bouncing around uh watching as he is. Yeah, and Wow she actually is actually Wow she actually about to pull this three to one stock combat? He is! It looks very likely. He is. Wow. Man. Got bad DI in that four down unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Phew! Man, that was, almost, that was actually a bit close, maybe a bit too close for comfort, but why is he still clutching it out? Alright, so now on to game number 3, we're going to Rockwall. Still, of course, the same characters, no counter picks here. It seems, however, if I've um, heard anything to go by, that there must have been a disconnect and then also a re-adding, re because I see that the position of player 1 and player 2 is a bit different. Yep, it switched over. Yeah, that's just a little mighty detail. So let's just hop right into game number three on Rock Wall. So, three, two, one, let's go. That is where we can also see that the game counts and such are neutralized a little bit. Starting off, we're seeing a bit of a stage carry. Very strong edge guarding from uh, Izzy. But uh, yeah. lets it up. Lets it up with a down smash. This is a little movement burst, definitely, I find pretty nice. Like, he definitely is, like, just, you can really see that he doesn't laugh a lot in fact as a pretty fucking movement. Because he just has these very nice, concentrated little bursts of movement, like right there, where he is just very precise yeah. uh, too. And I appreciate me some good movement. Same. It's one of my favorite things in this game. Yeah. But while she is, however, no slouch, and even with all the movement in the world, it'll be hard to escape his Eftils. Oh, that was uh, a very good little plan he had there. Right. Which round is this? This is round five. Round. This is a uh, like the first set of top first set of top eight losers. Yep, and this is game three. This is game three of uh, the set. Yeah. Oh, and the triple fares. There it is. Bring him off stage. Yeah. Alright, so, is he finally taking a game? Actually, he's putting himself on the, um, oh, what's the term? Shit, uh, I can't remember what it is, it's not important. He's putting himself on the board, I guess. So yep. right, yeah, putting himself on the board. Yeah. So, for game number five, 
you see, uh, counter pick I actually didn't necessarily expect, because I know for a fact that Washi is in love with Blazing Hideout. But Blazing is, Hideout was not counter. his counter pick for game number four. It was very the Attendless oh. Abyss. Yeah, he must so, have been uh, just thinking about his, his movement and uh, how to negate that as well as possible. That's because fully possible. Who, uh, uses up the movement that much anyway. Yeah. He's not going to lose out hugely on the uh, edge cancels. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, moving on to game number four. Endless Abyss, Izzy Waoshi, same still same characters. No over shenanigans going on. Let's roll three, two, one, go. Alright, so starting off, we're actually getting a good little combo going. Using those nares and build that cloud and up, up special. Yeah. Up special. Up there. Ooh, and up to, up, up to Love Bear, already sealing the first slot without barely taking any percent himself. Now I'm uh, just walling out. Is it with the up tilt and cloud? Yeah. We're actually doing a really, really good job of keeping Izzy from getting close to them. Isn't he just uh, utilizing that uh, forward tilt as much as he can? Nice dodge. Ooh, that's a nice little Cloud Pixies there. That was actually pretty nice. Very nice kill. Can Izzy do anything about this heavy zoning from Waoshi? It's not looking it. very good. That's a good parry. The down air, no follow up from that. And Izzy just gives up. Wow. That's wow. That's not every day you get to see someone just give up like that. 